hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Nines to box him in no time. I'm top two and not two. You getting stopped at the goal line. If I drop you, I'll be on Fox News with Vada and Showtime. Yo, you ain't watching the. Oh. oh, shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the world. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everybody. Subscribe to the channel that rocks with this content, whether religiously or in passing. It's your man Vada Fly. Tell you my mind said hi. F what your friends say. Let's chop it down on a Wednesday. I got a couple things I want to talk about. And I'm glad I scrolled through Twitter just to see the energy and what's going on in battle rap, you know what I'm saying, before I get here and talk, you know what I'm saying? Like that's my that's like the news for me, you know what I'm saying? I go, I scroll down my timeline. I see who's into it with who. I see what league is putting on what, you know what I'm saying? And then I get some ghetto views. I might get a couple screenshots, you know what I'm saying, to help formulate the story, but I'm going to bring it to you, you know what I'm saying? So um, I just gave y'all the formula, you know I just gave it out. That's what I do. I just scroll the timeline, see what's popping, talk about it, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But uh, And then we break down battles and a lot of other shit too. But that's just one way. So, um... Shout out to uh, A Ward, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of talk going on about him. I see a lot of talk going on about the leagues, you know what I'm saying? All of the stuff that went on this weekend, as far as, oh, 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 not just this weekend. Hold on, hold on, first of all. I don't want any one league to feel like this whole avalanche is on their shoulders, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the things that are going on now have been going on for a while. A lot of repeated no shows, you know what I'm saying? And that list that came out of all of these no, sh no shows, back outs, cancellations, call it what you want. I I'm outside the job calling them, telling them that I'm sick, like. <laughs> I remember when I used to work, man, I used to have a job and shit, man. Motherfucker would call me outside the building, like, man, I was just, I, I didn't know if he was gonna answer, man. I I'm not feeling well. I'm like, man, click. I used to be mad as shit. <laughs> but, um, there's a lot of talk going on about it. So here's what I'm gonna say, right? I know I was one of the ones that was pretty vocal and started it, you know what I'm saying? Not started the whole conversation, but I, I said what I said after some of the events, right? So here's my thought, all right? We're not about to go back and forth with the leagues, about the times, about the uh, round counts and all that. We're not doing that. Streaming, what do we need to do that for? We're not gonna do that. There's another way. <laughs> the other way is we gonna see how we see it. Nobody's gonna be arguing with nobody. I'm not saying this ain't for no league in particular. If y'all don't wanna let us, if we gotta guess, then we're gonna guess, but we're gonna guess in another way. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, it's way easier <laughs> to take it to the Bronx or to take it to Staten Island or to take it to fucking uh, Detroit than to, than, to, than to do it the real way. It's like, yo, niggas is gonna watch it, but it's like, yo, we not, niggas is not about to debate because at the end of the day, if I walk into a restaurant and it tells me I order salmon, 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 whatever you wanna call it, I order salmon and they bring me out a hamburger, I'm like, yo, I didn't fucking order this, you know what I'm saying? Give me what I paid for and let me know what it is, you know what I'm saying? It can't be if I order a Kobe steak and the steak comes out for $200 and it's this big. I'm like, yo, I need to know how many ounces, like let me know everything. I gotta know, man, and I don't wanna have to try to find out, you know what I'm saying? That we love watching battle rap, but what I'm not about to do is be trying to find out how many rounds is the battles and shit. Like I, I shouldn't have, we not gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just not gonna work. And in a lot of the cards, I can't be having all these joints and then charging the same up prices of fucking gnome and <laughs> big cards. Like it should be like a money grab. That's why a lot of niggas said that, man, you know? And then as far as the battle is not showing up, what you want us to do? Like y'all have, like a lot of these cards be having main events not going down, you know? I'm on some VOD shit, honestly. If I'm gonna pay, I've, I've copped VODs like after it's over. I gotta make sure, hey, it's damn near to a point where you gotta fucking, like one good thing about being in battle rap and doing what we do, you get a lot of contacts. You damn near gotta make sure niggas is in the building. You gotta call around, yo. You gotta call around, like yo. You gotta fucking use your resources, like yo. Is such and such there? Oh, is they gonna be there? 
Oh, no, nah, all right, cool. I know. Click. Like, I be having to know, bro, because I can't go like that. I, uh, don't leave the back door open. I cannot go like that. So I be having to call around and make sure niggas is there and all of that because you just don't know. Like, and the thing is, I've been seeing people talk about too many leagues, right? It's, I mean, I, it's a lot, man, because a lot of people don't know what it is to run leagues. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people just getting into it head first, and it's like, you know, they're not running good business. Like, OSBL is a great league, you know what I'm saying? Like, they've been around for a while, and they've been building a lot of fucking talent, you know what I'm saying? So we can remove them out the equation when I'm talking about these little fly-by-night leagues that just fly out of nowhere. They ain't develop no talent. They just get a bunch of names, pay a bunch of people to battle a bunch of their friends, and the shit don't go right, and it be all over the place, you know what I'm saying? When you see leagues that actually develop talent, like I see niggas from there, they on URL, and niggas is everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So that's developing talent. Now other niggas they come across some money and then they just start giving this shit away and it's like yo <laughs> and then and then niggas be like yo contact the league owner I'm like we don't even know who the fuck they are like the good like shout out to the league owners that you know they out there you know who they are they online they go they they go debate with people and they let people know you know what I'm saying what they doing that's the good shit other niggas they you don't know who the fuck niggas is you have no idea stream don't go right you don't know who to get at. Battles don't go right, you don't know who to get. Somebody don't show up, it don't even be what it is. But anyway, man, listen, it's gonna be one of two ways. Either niggas is gonna get the shit right, or y'all gonna, it's gonna be hard to sell. You can't sell, if you, you come into the hood selling bad smoke, niggas not gonna cop the smoke. Niggas gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna go up the hill. I'm gonna go up the hill. <laughs> purple tops, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas are selling purple tops up the hill, man. I know how this shit go, man. And that's the last thing. I'm like, yo, niggas, the fans, and so many other bloggers have mentioned it too, and I'm going to reiterate it. We not guessing. We not guessing whether it's three rounds, two rounds, one round. We not guessing. I'm sorry. It's just not going to work like that. Now, moving on. A-Ward. Um, I see a conversation going on. It was, I believe it was between Truefo and Caps. It was between them. I seen the um, uh, clips of it. I didn't see the actual video, but, you know, NBS and other people posted saying that, you know, the debate was, a Ward being a top tier MC. Now, shout out to True Four and everything they got going on. Like I said, he was just involved with the battle that happened last weekend. Snake Eyes, I respect his career. Uh, True North, drill music for the soul, all the albums and all that. I've actually played his music before. So, shout out to him. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know where the disconnect is. Because if A. Okay, all right. So, I would consider True Four. A mid tier MC, right? I would consider him a mid tier. He's battling beat Gigi Gotti. You know what I'm saying? He can battle in a lot of the guys around his level of name. He gets those guys no problem. He'll have good, you know, decent battles. He just battles snake eyes. Like, you know, he can battle laterally. He doesn't get a lot of battles like above that. Like, I'm not going to see him like on Gnome versus fucking Calico or goddamn Summer Madness and shit. I wouldn't, we probably, that's not where he's at career wise. I'm not knocking him, not taking anything from him. I'm just analytically breaking down the data that was presented to me. I told y'all I'm in school. I got school in a couple hours too. So, you know, I'm segmenting the markets right now. I can really talk y'all through some shit. So, um, he's in a certain market right now. And he can get on a lot of these cars, these mid-tier cars, these them leagues that I was talking about earlier. He can get on all of them joints, get good names. He can do that. He's doing great. A Ward, that's a mid-tier MC to me. A Ward is not on the same level. Like they're not both mid-tier MCs. The next level above mid-tier is top tier. A Ward to me is a top tier MC and for a number of reasons. Number one. He can sell a card when he's battling someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not going to be the first person. Like, he's not Goods or, or fucking, or, or Sue Surf or Verb. He ain't the key, ain't that guy. But if he's on the card, regardless of who he's battling against, it's always going to be a fight. It's very few battles, except for the white guys. It's very few battles that he gets into that he's going into it as a loser. That means a lot right there. And his resume is impeccable. He's battled damn near all of the names. You know what I'm saying? I was just looking at a, a joint just a few minutes ago. He's got so many names. It makes you say, damn, like, why? how could <laughs> how could Ward's legacy even be in question? Uh, Gage, Verb, Real Sick, Vixen, Charlie Clips, DNA, uh, Rum Nitty, Geechee Gotti, twice, damn near three times. Like, nigga, he got <laughs> Yo, Ward is is, is 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 already cemented, man. Danny Myers, like, bro, he done battled everybody. And he's won. And he wins at a high level. 
You know, he might have some debatables every now and then. You got him losing the battle every now and then. But A Ward on a on a high level card does not surprise you. Like if another max out happens, A Ward will probably be on it. If King of the Dot throws whatever card, blackout, world domination, whatever the fuck they throw, if they put him on there, nobody would question it. Now let's flip it like this. If True Foe got thrown on Gnome, or if A Ward got thrown on Gnome, who would they be asking more questions about? They would be asking more questions about True Foe. A Ward could walk into your locker room right now. He could probably get on a bigger card than you. I'm not, and again, I'm just speaking like with no cut on the product. I, I just watched True Foe battle last weekend on the stream where I couldn't even hear. It sounded like it was shot with a Game Boy. I still struggled through. So I fucks with True Foe. Please don't. And then I watched him in the X Factor joint. I'm peeping all of the battles. So I follow his career a lot, in a lot. So there's no hate here. But. Uh, a Ward is definitely a top tier MC. Is he a superstar? Like you can once you announce his name, the fucking car gonna start selling? No, but it may be only five of them in battle rap that you can announce them by themselves without the other. <laughs> Stop me if I'm lying, man. I'm at the, about the 10, 11 minute mark, man. Let me know if I told a lie yet. But there's only a few of them, like Murder Moot, Sue Surf, Hitman Holla. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Daylight. Uh, who else? It's like very, it's like maybe five niggas, man. It's, seven, it's less than ten that you can announce just them by themselves as the A-side of a battle and people are on their way. Shine because he ain't battling forever. You know what I'm saying? Briz, if you announce them, they, they get in there off the fact that they ain't battling this so long. I might do a piece on uh, K-Shine in a few because I've been thinking, man, he ain't battling over a year. And I'm starting to wonder, like... What the hell is going on? Like, I know he has some moves and shit, but the, the relationship, his strained relationship with URL has stopped his career insanely. But we'll get back to that another time. So, um, A Ward, uh, three level superstar. Three level superstar. Now, when I'm saying superstar, I'm not saying battle rap superstar. I'm saying he can be a star on all three levels. He can go to those little cars that nobody heard of, he can jump on a league that has fucking. 88 subscribers and go crazy versus a random nobody that anybody's ever heard of. I done seen him in, in bars. I done seen him battle in Starbucks, Hibachi, Foot Locker. He'll battle. He, he done been in all of those. He, he can get crazy with those. He can go to the mid-level cards. Like, um, he can go to the mid-level cards like the chrome that they had inside the smaller room, the chrome that they have in the bigger room. Max out. Huge cards. Smaller room. And he can either win or have great battles in those and then when he's been on bigger stages he has rocked those too him versus ill will him versus vixen when you see him in the rear view you slow down he's in new york he might have been the only white person in the building don 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 the marco him and the camera people fall off uh, damn it damn it damn it damn it damn it him and the camera people might only been the black only white people in the building when i seen him at the trenches joint with easy battle john john he was probably like one of the only four white people in the building two was security one was on uh, or back with the uh Power making sure generators and shit in they war. He be in them places. That's what I'm saying, man. That's my man. He be in the play. I be seeing them. So anyway, um, top tier MC. Top tier MC. Like, if I drop you, I be on Fox News about it in Showtime. You get stopped at the goal line. They put that shit on TV. They, <laughs> they did, man. They took that joint and ripped it and put it on the TV joint, man. Like. I don't understand what, what what makes him not a top tier. Because when we talk about million view battles, and this is probably like what my real synopsis is in this whole thing is, million view battles are not a quantifiable stat anymore. Because a lot of the battles, most of them don't exist on YouTube anymore. So you mean to tell me everybody who doesn't do views because they're not on YouTube is not a top tier, not a mid tier? We know a top tier is a feeling. Top tier is, yo, boom. Oh shit, War got hit, man. If War got hit, man, who would blink an eye at that? If War got Calico, who would blink an eye? Nobody. Like, he done worked himself into a lot of niggas. If you put them versus somebody, they're going to say, why is he getting them? War has worked himself into a sphere where if he gets, like, if he got a daylight battle, or if he got a goods battle, or if he got a hit, man, nobody would question it. Who's going to question it? Nobody. And then, not even to mention, I've only mentioned his the accolades, whether it be resume, 
what he's done, leagues he's been on, things that he's not. I haven't even mentioned the fact, skill-wise, freestyles, one of the best rebuttalists, who's, there ain't no three rebuttalists in battle rap better than A-Ward, might not be two, might not be one. What are we doing here? Like, <laughs> he has one weakness, white people. But other than that, he can bring it versus anybody. <laughs> You can't give me 15 losses and he's got like 90 battles. He battled and he does the battles at a high clip too. You know what I'm saying? So I I just think that uh yeah, Ward is a, definitely a top tier MC. Like I don't even understand how this is even a debate. You know what I'm saying? Like and like I said, respect to everybody and their opinions on it, but to me, based off of how long he's been doing it, the amount of years, it's been like three, four, five years in a row. And he's always on every top 10 list, top five. Like he, he's always there. His name is there. And my and the, the craziest thing about everything I mentioned, he hasn't even been on URL. That alone, him getting the names, the battles, the views, the rebuttals, the freestyles, all of that versus the MCs that he does without ever being on the biggest platform ever is crazy. That's an anomaly. Has anyone ever had a run like that before? You know? Now, I know there's some MCs who's never battled on URL, per se, but his run is pretty solid, I'm just saying. And in many battles, he either wins, has a slick debatable, or he makes it a fire joint. He's got a lot of classics, you know what I'm saying? I can go down A-Ward's resume and be here for a minute, just breaking down his battles and stuff like that. So, um, I do think Truffaut is a, a mid-tier MC. I do think he's working. I do think he has a good future. I don't think him and A Ward's in the same tier. So if they're not in the same tier, that makes A Ward up here. I, I mean, unless he's, and I know he's not in a, little, a tier lower, you know what I'm saying? So if it repositions, it'll be like, True Vote had to be a low tier <laughs> if A Ward's a mid tier. And to y'all, just let me know what you think, man. What do you consider a mid tier MC? What do you consider a top tier MC? I put a poll out though, you know what I'm saying? I did put a little poll out before I started the blog. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the dialogue going. I was going to see the percentage real quick. Wow. 85% uh, 